I mean, I came up with the title after I'd done the album, but you know, the, the track was the, the lead track, which is not the lead track, but the title track, Transition, was in the middle of the record. And I was, it's, it's just really about my whole life, you know, what I've been through. I you know, went through kind of a dark period. And you know, it's, it's easy, 36 years of making records and being on the road, and 35 in total. Um, you can you can get lost in it. You can change a man, and I, I, and it didn't change me well. Early two thousands through the two thousands, you know, I'm back in the two thousand and tens, you know, but uh, I got lost. There was a lot of heartbreak and a lot of pain in my life, and I and I was doing bad. I was drinking too much. I was doing all sorts of crazy things I shouldn't. Have done. I was over, and you have a tendency to play the way you feel, and I felt like shit. So. <laughs> Consequently, uh, there were a few nights, I mean, some nights were great, some nights were not, you know, and, and unfortunately we live in this world where one must relive every mistake due to the internet or these little boxes right here that follow you everywhere, or other people follow you with. And, you know, I had to take a hard look at myself. I felt bad, I looked bad, I wasn't playing well, uh, and I just said, okay, I'm going to reinvent myself, I'm going to break myself down to nothing, I lost my mother, I lost my marriage, I family problems, there's some other personal issues, friends of mine dying or dead. You get to a certain age, you're like, well, what happened? What's going on? I've gotten, it's gotten away from me. Um, I left negative situations and negative people, and I stopped drinking, I stopped smoking, I got training, I went to a shrink, I started trying to find myself again. And, you know, the last album, All's Well, was, was, was about in the middle of that pain, and so it was still really an open wound, you know? And now, a few years later, with help and and staying the course, you know, um, I've come back from that. I found a little spark in my eye again. I'm smiling. I'm enjoying life. I'm feeling good about myself. I mean, had chunks of my hair were falling out. It was really a brutal time. I, I see pictures of myself. I, I look like I had cancer or something like that. It was a very scary mm -hmm. time for me. I felt so alone and helpless. Now I don't. Now I feel better. I'm really kind of comfortable in my own skin. I'm writing about what's going on in the world. What's I mean, you kind of like wake up and go, well, how many more great summers do I have left before it's done, you know? I've had a great wild life, and some of it was great fun, and some of it was not. And when when the not fun became more than the fun, you either change your life or you or something bad will happen. And, and I got two little kids that I'd like to see grow up, and I'd like to make the second half of my career in my life focused and healthy and happy, and really like looking you know hey it's really me instead of like this fog going on so i feel better than ever and, and my you know the career seems to be on track i think we made a pretty good record and the songs lyrically reflect going through those changes and sometimes sarcastically humorously sometimes sad and sometimes very hopeful and like you know hey it's waking up to a brand new day let's make the most of today i want to make the most of every day and forget forgive and forget the regrets and the resentments and bad things and stay in the light, man. That's what it's all about. It, you know, it has a very loose concept. It starts out a little angry and people that have wronged me are taking out this like, uh, yeah, well, fuck you, you know? And and that, and that then almost it got a little funny. Like creep motels, kind of like, you know, the internet creeps that are out there. They just, they go on there and go, yeah, I hate you, you're ugly, you, you suck, and they... It's like watch a film, filming of yourself falling down the stairs, you know, and people think that's really funny unless you're the guy that falls down the stairs, and then you re every time you see it, you're breaking legs and you're hurting yourself, and at other people, la you know, at your expense for other people's laughter and, and amusement, and that's hard to take sometimes, that hurts, it's a drag. I don't have, I can take the constraints off, the the handcuffs, if you will, of creativity and be able to just write what I feel like writing, not going, oh, i got to try to write a hit song, or what is that anyway? I don't even know what that is. If I did, it would, you know, I'd probably be able to do it all the time. But, you know, I just wanted an artistic piece, you know, a piece of art, something I can be proud of. And, and me and C.J. Vanson worked really hard on this, you know. And I couldn't have done it without him because he really focused me and kept me from getting rid of good stuff. And we were great foils for each other, you know. I love working with him. Incredibly talented guy, and uh, we, it was effortless for us to. You know, we 
we pushed each other in a good way, but we also saw eye to eye 90% of the time. Well, um, as far as the songwriting goes, uh, my son Trev co-wrote uh, Right the Wrong with CJ and I. CJ and I pretty much wrote every, co-wrote everything, but we brought in Randy Goodrum uh, on Last Man Standing, Fee Wavell on Creep Motel helped us with the lyrics. Jeez, uh, um, the last song, Smiles, an old Charlie Chaplin song. Um, um, Transition, I wrote with Steve Weingart, mm -hmm. um, live keyboard player, and also in the studio. My, my musical director for 45 years, man. <laughs> um, you know, he's an integral part of my whole scene. He's one of the most talented guys I know. Uh, my live band obviously was on it, you know, Steve and Renee Jones and Eric Valentine on drums. So I had Toss Panos, Greg Bissonette, mm. Chad Smith played on, on uh, Right the Wrong from Chili Peppers. He's great. And uh, she was a bass player. I had Nathan East, Tal Wilkenfeld, mm -hmm. uh, John Pierce from all his friends in the whole planet. Uh, and Renee played a, a bass on some stuff. Um, Lenny Castro. Uh, Phil Collins sings in backgrounds, mm -hmm. uh, Richard Page, a uh, young, talented new girl, uh, Christina Helene. Uh, I'm trying to think who I'm leaving out. <laughs> uh, uh, Jenny Douglas sang background. Mm -hmm. Honestly, she's out with Pink. She was out with Toto. She's she's great. You know, my son Trev played on the record. So I mean, it was a family affair. Yeah. You know, and all that. I'm really proud of and very honored to have all these great. And CJ played keyboards on everything. Along with Steve Weingart, played on a couple of things as well. But you know, uh, I'm really pleased with how it came out. We were able to write the songs, and as we were writing them, we were recording the master bits. I never went back and fixed anything, or you know, we we just kept adding, like much like making gigantic soup. You just keep putting things in it until it's finally done. You know.